this out. When I turned on the TV just now, all the Soul Train dancers ran and put earmuffs on. That's messed up, man. It's been two weeks. I can't take it anymore. I don't care how cold it is. I'm going out. First day of spring, we'll be all the way up to the 40s. Terrific! Uh, my dang head is frozen to the window. Is it gonna be warm tomorrow? We could finally go outside? This is the bomb. We gotta do something crazy. <laughs> Knucklehead. Yo, check this. We climbed the Washington Square Arch. No gloves, no shoes. Get real with your weenie self. We need to do something exciting and dangerous. We go down to the subway and jump turnstiles. See who can ride the most trains for free without getting caught by the transit cops. My own personal best was 200 trains. I got most all the way to France, Europe. <laughs> Sure you did. Ooh. Riding the subway is for bums and old ladies. We want something really crazy. Tell them, Wayne Hat. Huh? You know what I'm talking about. Well, uh, well. We're wasting our time here. Dangerous? I exciting? Okay, um, how about, uh, truck jumping? Wayne, 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 Last one in got stains in the underwear. What are you sissies waiting for? You all got dirty drawers. Okay. <laughs> I can't be a baby just because of this dang shoe. Thanks, man. You know we always got your back, bro. When you're one of us, you always got backup, and that's no lie. Why do you keep calling me Damien? And what's 
What's wrong with your eye? You got something in it? Man, she's looking at Wayne Head like two looking at free ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne had. You're not so fat. We can see that. You are in some kind of surreptitiously senile dilemma. Talk to us, my sister. Tell us what you need. How about some advice? <laughs> like I'm gonna take advice from you dang knuckleheads. There, there. Mo understands where you coming from, but girl, you're in trouble. Tell Uncle Mo about your problem. When I'm around Damien, I feel funny. Like, uh... <laughs> Girl! Problem? <laughs> That's no problem. Girl, you are in love. I am? Dang. Ew. Ew. head. Mm. This is gonna be funny! Us kicking up a thing between a guy like old Wayne Head and a lunatic like Monster Girl! Yeah, and Mo don't know how yet. But trust me, my brother, we gonna find a way for this to put a little extra change in our pocket. Yo, check this. We happen to know that Wayne Head wants to be your boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He even asked us to personally tell you that he wants you to meet him outside the rim joint after school today. He does? <gasps> Dang, I thought you were Ross. You know, the girl told me she thinks she's in love with you. What? Be calm, my brother. My advice is, go straight home after school and stay home. And be sure to take the route that goes past the rib joint. I know for a fact that that monster girl so upset about you running out on her there yesterday that she doesn't want to go anywhere near the place. Thanks, Mo. I don't know what I'd do without you. have a picture of this. It is gonna be good. That's it. That's how we get our cash. We take pictures. Every kid in the hood will pony up the 
see Monster Girl putting some major lip action on old Wayne's head. We'll be making more money, more money, more money. Oh, what you do that for? You want to be my boyfriend? You got to carry my books. That's one of the rules. But I don't want to be your... And you got to talk sweet to me. And you got to call me up on the phone every day. You ever seen two bigger fools? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't wait till I see Wayne Head later so I can tell him all about how he set him up. <laughs> That's a fine idea, talking to Wayne Head too. But you gotta do it at just the right time. You know what I'm saying? So you take your snaggle tooth behind to that phone booth over there. And, and, and don't move till we call you and tell you it's time, okay? And another thing you gotta do is... But I don't wanna be your... You gotta grow some dang hair and get my initials carved in it, and... Damie, move your butt and get in this house right now. Yes, Mama. <sighs> Carry her books? Sweet talker? Carve her initials in my head? I'll be waiting for you on the corner tomorrow morning so you can walk me to school! Dang. I gotta get myself out of this mess. sincere encouragement. You know, maybe tell him it's about time y'all had your first kiss. What do you think of that? Woo! I'm gonna be kissing hey. my Damien. Yeah. What's yeah. wrong with you, kid? Yeah. 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 Just do what I told you and you'll be done with her for good, man. For sure? 
Ross, I think you look like Godzuki and Swamp Thing. Really? <laughs> okay. Our first kiss tomorrow noon. The docks be there. <laughs> Yeah, I know what's supposed to happen at noon today, Mo. But forget it. I'm not taking any more advice from you. I'll figure this thing out for myself. Know what I'm saying? <sighs> Shaniqua girl, I am telling you, the harder you run, the more that man is going to be after you. Just give him some of his own back. Honey, for that crazy con, the thrill is in the chase. Once you stop running, the fun is gone. Girlfriend. Really? Dang! That's just what I want! Cool. So check this. From now on, you wear a dress. A dress? Well, okay, I guess. <laughs> and we hold hands all the time. We do? Uh huh. And no more trash talk. And no more spitting. Really? And now I think we should have our first kiss. Marvin and Mo said I'm supposed to stay my snaggle tooth behind right here. Dang, Tooth! Listen to those two clowns! How stupid can you be? Talk that talk, man! 